one of the best rooms at any audio show is Legacy Audio. Let's go in, viewers. Let's meet the team from Legacy Audio. Hey, there's Bill Dudelson. Bill, how are you? I'm very well, Peter. And I have Bryce Oxier here, and uh, he's one of our head technicians. And Bryce, how are you? Good, good, very well. Good Great show. to meet you. Yeah, you too. He's our uh, wavelet programming expert here. So. Oh, very, very good. That's right. Yeah. Well, that is an outstanding product, and it's, it enables standard speakers to be, perform well beyond their that, regular envelopes. That's correct, yeah. and, it, and it takes the place of a, yada, a lot of units in the system, uh, such as the DAC, a preamplifier, and also the DSP crossover as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, you got uh, some smarts going on upstairs there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Learn from <laughs> Bill, one of the best. Good, <laughs> <laughs> good guy. Great. So what do we have here today, guys? Yeah, well, I have the uh, uh, ARIS speaker, uh, ever popular. Uh, with the low frequency uh, section being powered internally. Okay. Um, there's dedicated amplification there, and then the, the upper half is left for this case. We're using Raven's tube amplifiers to drive the top. Aren't they great? Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah, they, they really they are. They really are nice. And he has a range of, uh, of amplifiers that uh, watch him sell a couple today. So. Oh, good. Um, this is the, uh, the caliber loudspeaker, which is a compact little monster and uh, has all kinds of dynamic capability and analysis recently started making its way in professional studios. Really? Yeah. Well, congrats on that. Great. Great. Uh, Want to continue down the line here? Sure. He's got okay. some of his amps here. Dave Thompson's over to my right. Yeah. yeah we have a, a wide range of amplifiers here that we can drive stuff with. We have mm -hmm. five exhibits at our show that are active display. So it's, it's nice to have a variety of amplifiers. And we're always having people walking in going, well, can your speakers be driven with a single-ended uh, amp 16 yeah. watts or something yeah. Yeah. and so it's nice to be able to prove that mm -hmm. and uh, so there's a lot of flexibility in what we're doing um, over here we have the the Valor system which has uh, been a highly refined uh, uh, research project you might say that's it to us it's a development uh, product for the rest of our product line mm -hmm. um, there will be technology technological fallout from this that will reach into the rest of our line Tell us about the drive units here. That's interesting, Bill. Yeah, this is a, a dual AMT array, okay. um, and it is coaxial with a titanium uh, short flared horn behind there, mm -hmm. um, which is doesn't sound like a horn. It's a very short flare, and it has a uh, uh, ti titanium two-inch driver in there, and uh, all that is concentric on the 14-inch mid-range. Mm -hmm. So you have four drivers all coming out of one acoustic center. So very good time alignment. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and extraordinary dispersion because mm -hmm. right, I see. the way that the drivers cross fire. Mm -hmm. And what's a little different about the speaker too is that the the tweeter that faces to the outside is driven with a slightly different signal which is more of an ambient character uh, frequency response whereas the driver that fires to the inside is more of the direct uh, arrival type signal. Kind of like how our voices are in life. Exactly right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Certain certain directivity to even the yeah. human, human speech. Once again with the, the wavelet processor and, and which amps are these, Dave? These are the Silhouette Mark II model blocks. Mark II model 125 watts per channel, point to point. And viewers, Mark we all know that Dave. <laughs> Dave's Thompson. Yeah. Dave Hi. We've been uh, cranking them to show <laughs> really? what the speaker can do dynamically, and, and uh, we played a few tracks that left a few jaws dropped. Oh, and that's great. No breakup at uh, any level. So. And how about over here? We have our, our uh, little bookshelf uh, studio speaker, and uh, in fact, I think there's a review uh, that will be coming out uh, later this fall on these. Very good. And uh, they've recently had a slight upgrade. And uh, here we're using uh, Dave's integrated Raven amplifier for this. And, uh, um, and behind them, we have our silhouette on walls that we move the studios out of the way so you can play. But uh, well, basically, they're a, uh, just a, a good full range loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say full range, I'm talking about a solid 38 hertz on up. Mm -hmm. And you're getting that in a, a box that's that thin that hangs on the wall. But they, I warn you, they're quite heavy, so you have to use good oh, model okay. brakes. Okay. So, so. I just want to talk about this system. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure thing. Um, we've got right now. We've got the Rosewood uh, signature SEs um, paired with the uh, Blackhawk um, limited edition, and this is the the black gloss finish on this. Um, this retails for thirty five hundred. That's integrated amplifier. 
Um, and we're just using it as the Oppo uh, 105 as the source as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's been a it's a been a more of a budget system, but it's, it's drawn a lot of uh, people as well mm -hmm. over to this station as well. And we've always um, had a lot of requests to hear signatures, so it's been a great little system uh, as well. That's great. <laughs> and uh, just over here, we've got um, another system as well. Our fourth system uh, in the room um, is our Focus uh, SEs um, in the Cabernet finish. Um, oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Look at that, viewers. High gloss as well. Um, piano, piano grade finish. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's been a great fit for us. Uh, got a, uh, quite a few models. Um, really beautiful. prepped up for yeah, this Yeah, look finish. at that, beautiful. Yeah. Dave, what amps are these? These are our flagship uh, monoblocks. They're 325 watts per channel. If you put KT and 150s in it, we can get a little over 400 watts oh, per channel. That's, great. that's the Shaman Mark II. Okay. That's our flex. Well, that's the top of the line there. <laughs> yeah, you can almost weld steel with that. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. And again, uh, the uh, preamplifier is again the wavelet um, with the, with the DAC and uh -huh. crossover unit as well with room correction. Uh -huh. And uh, like I said, we've got those on most of the systems in here. Um, really snaps the sound into focus as well. And when you have these large spaces, you, you really need that DSP to really make it tight and articulate uh, in the system as well. Well, you guys are the experts at that. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. And, uh, well, can we spin up a little bit of music before we leave you guys yeah, today? Sure thing, Peter. Sure. Yeah, okay, great. great. Yeah. Let's do that next. Here we go. Oh, 
Thank you, guys. That was a very, very sweet and big open sound. Michelle Jones was just right there, right in front of me. And I could hear like the little whispering in his voice and the, the, the inner detail was just so prevalent. And we have a big ballroom here and you're able to punch through that with control. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's just awesome. Great sound. Uh, it's really nice to meet you, Bryce. And uh, uh, thank you for teaming up and uh, joining forces with uh, one of the giants of our industry, yeah. Bill Dudelson at Legacy Audio. What a great, great show here we have at Exponent this year. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.